Jesus, you are my salvation. Jesus, you're my inspiration. Jesus, you're the treasure of my life. Jesus, you offer new sight to the blind. Healing the crippled, the deaf and the mute Cleansing the leper and banishing ills Raising the dead to life Jesus, you are my salvation Jesus, you're my inspiration Jesus you're the treasure of my life. Jesus, you nurture the hungry with bread, stilling the tempest and calming the sea, turning life's water to glittering wine, shedding your blood for me. Jesus, you are my salvation. Jesus, you're my inspiration. Jesus, you're the treasure of my life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A hearty welcome once again to each one of you, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, uh, families, youth, children. Uh, we are in a different chapel, a uh, different altar. Uh, I hope you like it. And, uh, it's a beautiful ambience. Let's begin the sacrifice, putting ourselves in God's presence and asking his forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please sit for the reading. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah, one of the priests who were at Anathoth in the land of Benjamin. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a youth, for to all to whom I send you, you shall go, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and to break down to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
your responses. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord, together. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Your response, my mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. Be my rock, my constant refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. My God, free me from the hand of the wicked. Your response, my mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. On you have I leaned from my birth, from my mother's womb you have been my help. Your response, my mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. My mouth will tell of your justice and all the day long of your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth and I proclaim your wonders still. Your response, my mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. Kindly rise as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the lake. And great crowds gathered about him, that he got into the boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood on the beach. He told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. As he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched. Since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, Jesus continuously spoke in parables. And here is one of the parables. That was the style to which he taught. And every parable has a message, out of it, the literal meaning, the deeper meaning, the spiritual meaning. And today, 2,000 years after Jesus spoke these words, we still are trying to unravel and fully understand. And all the saints and the mystics have continuously commented on this. And so we pray as we have heard this gospel, often it also comes once in three years on a Sunday for the sowing and uh, therefore there is even more exposure to this particular gospel passage. And here we have, uh, we pray that we might be good soil, we have commented on the other distractions that prevent us from allowing it to grow in our lives. But the first reading which Father read is from the book of Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah. It's the very first. Now this, uh, I'm sure you've heard the name Jeremiah. Jeremiah, somebody who cries and who is mourning and lamenting and is sad. But, uh, and this is, incidentally, the longest book in the whole scriptures, scriptures, Jeremiah. Uh, we'll have, we're beginning it today, uh, but it's not read for very long. By the end of the week, we'll have finished this book and we'll get into a Another, another book of scriptures. Here we have, Jeremiah was the one who was uh, staying close to Jerusalem. And they say that he lived in the best of times and he lived in the worst of times. Uh, he was present when the temple was, the temple was destroyed 
uh, Temple of Jerusalem was destroyed in the year 587 and he was living at the time he died uh, after that he was exiled so when he died it was a very sad time he was exiled with the other Jewish leaders and sent over there and he was crying and weeping. but uh, his main uh, message continuously was please reform please reform and uh, that uh, you are asking for trouble you are, you are not following the true God and he was predicting time of suffering was coming the Assyrians were there before they were quite uh, helpful as we know to the Jews did not trouble them and then Nabuchodonosor he came and he plundered the place and he uh, destroyed the temple and the Jews many Jews were killed Jeremiah was a, a, a peaceful man and he did not he did not want to be a prophet no one is uh, a prophet unless God calls him and puts in his mind or his heart on his lips the words that uh, uh, the prophet has got to say he's got to say God's a prophet is one who speaks uh, for God in the name of God and so he did not want and so he, he's, he's the first this introductory passage is his uh, like beginning of his mission and he said and he says in the first person the word of the Lord came to me God's message came to me before I formed you in the womb I knew you this is said of many of John the Baptist also this passage read the time of John the Baptist before he was in his womb he was chosen to speak the word of God Jeremiah too before you were born I consecrated you you were already chosen for a particular mission I appointed you as a prophet to the nations and his response Lord I don't know how to speak I am only a youth I'm too young and we heard that he says don't say I'm only a youth for to all to whom I send you you shall go whatever I command you to say you will speak and so on so God assures him although he did not want to be a prophet that I am with you I will strengthen you I will tell you what to say I will tell you where to go and you give the message and Jeremiah really had a life of he says uh, he wanted we can read from the whole book he wanted a life of peace of uh, relaxation to pray he was a spiritual person pray but God said I, I'm calling you now to carry the cross and so we uh, appreciate what Jeremiah did his sacrifice and think of our own calling also sisters and brothers what is your calling my calling what does God want you, us to do what does God everyone each one of you each one of us has got a mission from God small it's important in certainly it's a smaller or bigger more visible less visible but uh, always trust in the Lord have no fear the Lord is with you that's what the message of Jeremiah uh, and the message of this particular reading is may the like the gospel says may the word of God sink into our hearts and bear abundant fruit in our lives God bless you Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased to receive the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice 
brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants. Make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel. What each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. We right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. When he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have, you have set, set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints, St. Apollinaris, who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be quest to eternal life, praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray now with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy keep us free from sin, safe from all distress. Wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said your apostles, the peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Off with the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those supper, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Do only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Graciously, be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. Lead those you imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass and let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. God bless each one of you and have a lovely day. Thank you. Send forth your messengers, O Lord, they will spread your light to all the world around. They will sing of your glory, Alleluia. You chose us from all time, your messengers to be.
To raise your light to Lord for all the world to see. Send forth your messengers, O Lord, they will spread your light. To all the world around, they will sing of your glory, Alleluia.